Hello everyone, bringing you a video today which I, will be a relatively short video. The garment we're looking at here is extremely simple. This was sent to me by a friend of mine on Facebook, uh, Matt Vai, who was issued these in the very early 1990s, around 1991, for use with the improved Northern Ireland body armour or the Body Armour Mark II, which we've talked about previously on the channel. This was the improved version of body armour introduced for use primarily in Northern Ireland which included a ceramic plate to protect the, the vital organs, the heart essentially, and the chest front and back. This is a vest designed primarily for wear underneath that body armor. And Matt remembers this being referred to as vest PBA. So it's vest perspiral, vest perspiration body armor. And from that point of view, it's interesting in that it's a very early example of a garment designed specifically for wear under body armor, something that will become very common going forward, of course. And you see the underbody armor shirts with a cellular section over the body and then sleeves made in camouflage material specifically for wear under body armor, particularly in hot climates. So this is basically made of a quite a heavy sort of a jersey material uh, compared to say a t-shirt, it's probably double the weight of, of material that you'd see there. Uh, it is nevertheless cut quite like a t-shirt. You have these short sleeves, as you can see here. The collar is more akin to a polo shirt, as you can see. And then it closes at the neck here. Obviously, it's an overhead garment, but it has a neck opening, wide neck opening there, which closes with a, a small section of touch and close or Velcro fastener there, as you can see. The label has gone from this, unfortunately. In fact, Matt sent me two, and both of them, the label is missing. So the nomenclature can't be confirmed, but that's just off Matt's recollection. One of the reasons for making the video, of course, is to, to seek further information. If anyone else remembers being issued these, perhaps someone has another example of one of these with an intact label. Certainly not something I'd come across before, so I was very interested to have a look at it and very kind of Matt to send me both of these. Thank you very much indeed, Matt, for, for doing so. And hopefully someone will be able to provide some further information on these. We've had a look at the front there. We'll start moving this around. There's not a huge amount to see. It's a very simple garment, obviously designed for a pretty simple purpose. It's basically a, an undergarment. Uh, but we'll have a look at this in a little bit more detail now. So looking around at the side of this, you can see very simple construction, short sleeve there, simply hemmed, hemmed over to the to the outside edge there, as you can see. And as I say, it's made of this stretchy, you can see there, hopefully the stretch in the fabric, this stretchy jersey material, probably, as I say, double the weight of the average t-shirt. And then looking at the back of this, you can see it's quite long, quite a long garment. Uh, there's no uh, opening in the side seam or anything there, no yoke across the shoulders or anything. It is manufactured in a very similar manner to a t-shirt. We'll very briefly have a look at this turned inside out so you can see the details of the manufacturing here. You can see the seams running around here, the way the opening is formed at the front there, the seams on the arm and the shoulder there, as you can see. And then at the back, there's not a huge amount more to see here, various details of the seams, and obviously you've got the, the lower hem there, as you can see. I believe the label would have been in the collar. There's some, a few loose threads here that suggest that might have been where the, the label was originally. Not sure on that. The label is unfortunately missing. So there we are. So there we are, I hope you found it interesting looking at this. As I say, not something I'd come across previously. Hopefully there'll be some interesting comments down below. Perhaps people who were issued these can remember them and remember the nomenclature and so forth and confirm that. I'd certainly be interested to hear. If you have found it interesting looking at this, please do consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And whether you're newly subscribing or you've previously subscribed, please do make sure you hit the little bell, the notification button down below. That will of course alert you when I upload future videos. If you really like my uploads and you would like to support the channel, you can. Both Patreon and PayPal are linked down below. And as ever, a huge thank you to everybody who supports the channel using those two methods. It's greatly appreciated, as I always say. Thank you all very much indeed. If you'd like to follow the channel on social media, you can. Facebook, Instagram and Twitter are all linked down below. And as ever, if you want to get in touch but you don't use social media, there is, of course, an email address down there as well. That's everything for this video. So until next time, bye for now.